Okay, welcome. So how are we gonna go ahead and determine the inverse of an exponential function? So remember, to go through that, we need to determine y equals um, a, <clears throat> a to the x power. Now remember, when we're determining the inverse, and let's just kind of go through an easy equation. Let's say I've had y equals 3x plus 4. Now when we're dealing with linear equations, I said find the inverse. We did a couple steps. One of the first steps that we do is we'd swap the x and the y variable. And then what we do is now we'd solve for y. So to do that, you'd subtract 4 on both sides. So you had x minus 4 equals 3y. Then you do divide by 3. So my inverse was y equals x minus 4 divided by 3. And a lot of times, you know, we talk about the function and its inverse. So the inverse function of this would be f inverse of x equals x minus 4 divided by 3. All right. So now we're going to get into how to find the inverse of an equation where I have y equals a raised to the power of x. Well, to do this, again, we're going to follow our same process where we're going to swap the x and the y. And now we need to solve for y. And that's where it comes into our issue is um, how are we going to solve for a variable when it's up as in the exponent? So what we do is when we create, when we're talking about our, the inverse of an exponential, we talk about it as the logarithmic equation. And what that represents is we can write this as our inverse function of y equals log base a of x. And again, when we say a logarithm out loud, what it really represents is a raised to the y power equals x, which is right here from your inverse. So the inverse of y equals a to the x is y equals log base a of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine the inverse of an exponential equation. Thanks.